Hi everybody, I'm G1 Rider with G1 Insights and this message is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Gemini. Gemini, I welcome you to your life and love energy for the month of November 2020. If you guys have not already saw your Mercury retrograde terror rating for October 13th to November 13th, I would recommend that you guys check that out first before you watch this because it will definitely give you a lot more clarity. And so, with that being said, I really hope that you guys tune in to my Instagram channel. Every Tuesday, we are live on Instagram. And if you would like a personal terror reading, you can visit our website at g1insights.org. All these links will be below. Okay, I would love, also would love to have you guys as one of my subscribers to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all the love and support. And once again, if you would like a personal reading, you guys can visit my website, okay? Thank you. So I don't want to hold up too much of you guys' time, so let's get into this, okay? All right, here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, Gemini, here we go. This is for the Gemini sun, moon, and rising, or Venus and Gemini. This is for Gemini man and the Gemini woman. Okay, so two of these cards came out for a recent sign. It seems like that energy is so heavy um, this season where a lot of us are receiving a lot of the same cards. And I think it's because the month of November is definitely all about transformation. So when cards kind of reappear over and over in different zodiac signs, it lets me know that this is something, you know, as a union that we need to um, work on. So I want to... Um, shuffle some more cards to get clarity. So that's what I'm going to do at this time. But so far, you know, um, it says that there's definitely a lot of healing needed for your mind, your body, and your spirit. Okay. So let's get clarity in all of this. I did pre shuffle these cards. So I'm not sure why a lot of the cards are coming out the same. That's interest interesting to me. Okay, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. All right, here we go. So even though these cards are also very similar, I'm just going to move on with the energy. So starting off, Gemini, I see enlightenment, okay? So it's like as if you are, um, you're seeing things for what they really are now. Um, I feel like you are on the verge of like a new beginning. You may not be too comfortable just yet with this new beginning, but I feel like if you can just simply allow the new beginning to take place, you know, the easier things will be for you, okay? Um, in other words, it's time for you to embrace. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. <laughs> Something just happened. <laughs> I want to fix it. Okay. All right. So, sorry about that. I don't know what just happened. Like, for me, it looked like the screen got, like, fully dark. Okay, so, um, yeah, you guys are in a phase of enlightenment right now. And it's so important for you guys to embrace the new phase that you guys are going through. I know it may not be exactly what you want, but you know what? A lot of times the best things come out of the things that we don't want, okay? So, it says pursue spiritual growth. This is a time for you to listen to your ancestors, to get wisdom from your ancestors, to pay attention to what the spirit guides are sharing with you, okay? Now, this is also a very important time um, for new beginnings, a new journey, okay? It says here to begin your new life, all right? Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Aquarius got that energy, or was it Libra? I think it was... I think it was Aquarius that got this energy here, um, okay? But we also see potential that says think big for your future. You know, you don't want to think small. Just take this as a lesson learned. You know, whatever it is that you guys could be dealing with at the moment, take this as a lesson learned. Do not give up hope just yet because something is in the works for you, okay? So it may not, you know, whatever the situation is, it may not play out exactly as you would like it to, but it doesn't mean that, there's not greater things for you or coming towards you, okay? So don't give up with that just yet, okay? Now, we have some wisdom cards here overall, but I have some tarot cards here that I wanted to share with you, and then we also have some love cards too. So that is what we're going to do, all right? Some of you are thinking about, wow, okay. Some of you are thinking about relocating or going somewhere new, some of you are um, 
I feel like some of you are still looking back though, you know, like still focusing on the past and, or still looking, because you have a lot of cards that are still looking towards um, what you would like things to be or what things could be or what they should be, you know, and spirit is saying, no, my love, listen, you know, choose a new direction. Stop worrying about what was, stop worrying about what could have been, should have been, you know, it's time to move forward. Okay, and it's, again, you want to embrace this newness. You want to embrace this new relationship, this new uh, situation. You may not feel as comfortable with someone as you used to, or you may not feel as comfortable in a particular environment like you used to. I feel like a lot of you are yearning for something new. You're yearning for something to be the way that it used to be, and it's not going to be that way because you are on the path of like a new journey. You are on the path of something brand new. So yes, it's not going to be the same. And with that being said, even though change is not always easy to everyone, or um, you may not feel like you are that adaptable, you do have the strength to get through this, okay? So with that being said, we're going to look into some tarot cards and get some clarity on this, okay? For some of you, you could be dealing with a fire sign or have some um, obligations or some interests or, um, wow, <laughs> and the page of swords just for a while, so we're going to put that back because we're not sure yet, all right? But um, some of you, this could be a fire sign that there's like a lot of obstacles or issues with or um, kind of feeling like you're ready to, to take, you know, to kind of burst out to like this whole new, I don't know, I feel like you guys are trying to, step into this new you but you feel like you want to do it the way that you want to do it I think that's what it is and the universe is saying no listen we have something so much better for you okay so let's look at the tarot cards and let's see what spirit is saying Gemini sun moon horizon or Venus and Gemini okay yep so there things has been like at a standstill for a while or maybe you have been confused for a bit while um feeling really indecisive feel like you're not sure if you're making the right choices um feeling like you know what at one point i felt like i had it all you know with the hangman here in reverse i mean you could be um there could be a lot of manipulation at hand there could be a lot of um heartbreak here as well we have the three of swords in reverse so i feel like again you're healing from a situation that kind of devastated you or um disrupted your emotion you know something that really made you feel uncomfortable or dissatisfied okay for a lot of you this could be love for some of you this could be um a financial situation a career situation you know we also got the eight of wands in reverse so like i said yeah it's definitely either in air sign or this is definitely a fire sign energy that you guys are dealing with okay um But I feel like you guys are healing through this. You know, you're taking time to really kind of plan your future the right way. You know, you're building um, structure. You know, you're waiting for the right moment to do things. You're planning, you're processing. But I feel like spirit is like, yes, that is the way you do it. That is how you're going to manifest this thing. You have to take your time, have patience, you know, have faith, you know, um, to trust the process. You have to learn to trust the process. So again, even though something may seem a bit unusual or a bit unfair spirit is saying to you that this is not the end that we have something greater for you okay um I feel like there's also a lot of wisdom that is going to be coming to you too. A lot of things that are going to be revealed to you. A lot of truth that is going to be revealed to you at this time. Okay. Um, again, you know, try to look at things from a different perspective. This is an important time for you to um, have more of a... Um, I just got stuck for some reason. Yeah, so the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups. So, yeah, there's definitely some something going on with your emotions when it comes to uh, feeling fulfilled or want to kind of dive ahead or charge ahead and make something happen. But like I said, there's also a lot of manipulation here as well. Try to look at things from a different perspective, okay? 
try to understand that this new situation has potential. So even though, again, even though it may feel like a loss, it's really a win for you because now you get to move on to greater and better things and you won't have to deal with the stress or annoyance that come with this gig or this person or this environment or this job, whatever it is that was. Um, I feel like you guys have had um, gone over and beyond to try to please this um, person or um, to try to be the best that you can be with this job. And I feel like there has not been enough appreciation on your part. Like, I feel like, not for you. I mean, like, I feel like people don't appreciate totally what you have been doing. Or maybe you feel unappreciated, you know. But again, as you take your time to kind of, you know, just kind of go through the steps. Okay, what can I do differently this time? What can I make? How can I make things better? You know, how can I, um, you know, get people to see me in a different light? You know, with you doing that, Gemini, there's going to be um, more people that will be more willing to listen to you, to understand you, to um, to take heed to the things that you're saying. Okay? Now, we do have some love cards here. So, guys, I want to say keep in mind that this is a generator. So, you know... Whatever resonates, that's great. Whatever doesn't, you know, <laughs> just move on. And um, be sure that you guys are checking out your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or Jupiter, or Mars, and Mercury energy, guys. Okay? It's also so important to know what's in your birth chart. I feel like you guys have been kind of scattered, unfocused, unsettled, a bit confused. Feeling manipulated, feeling like, you know, people are trying to take over. People are trying to control you. People are trying to disrespect you. I feel like you're trying your best to be as extremely focused on what you want to accomplish. And I feel like the more you do that, that's good, of course. Because like I said, you know, the best way to manifest anything is not to worry, is not to stress. It's not to um, be overly focused on what's wrong or who did you wrong. This is the best time to kind of actually say, you know what, instead of me focusing on the problem, let me focus on what can actually make me better. So that is what this energy is about, okay? I'm waiting for my husband to get out of my way. Okay, we have your love cards here, Gemini, so let's do it, okay? All right, so yep, 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 somebody is not being as truthful as they should be. I mean, the mirror came out in reverse, so when it comes to love, you know, um, we know that there's definitely going to be, at some point, like I said, you're going through like this, oh my God, really? Really? Sorry about that. So there's going to be some time where, of course, there's spiritual enlightenment. And like I said, pursue your spiritual growth, okay? Because, like I said, something is going to be revealed to you. Some type of truth is going to be coming up to the surface. And it says here, you guys marry each other. You know, um, for some of you, this can be time that you're taking to kind of reflect on your wounds, reflecting on the relationship, how much it meant to you, reflecting on your relationship with your finances or the people at your workplace, okay? Um, we also got some twin flame energy here, which is interesting considering that the month of November, even though in my opinion, you know, this is the month of transformation. It's all about new beginnings. But not only that, I love this month because it's the number 11. It's in the 11th house. So if I for you, Gemini, I will kind of figure out what's in my 11th house in my birth chart. Like, what is in my 11th house? Okay. Um, wait a minute. Okay, I guess. Um, so, yeah, the number 11. You want to find out what that means for you, okay, in your 11th house. All right. Runner, this is twin flame energy here. Somebody that is fearful of intimacy, 
You know, and it could be you. Again, the three of swords did come out of reverse. So maybe you're no longer afraid. Maybe you're done being the runner. Maybe you are now being the chaser. Maybe you're saying, you know what? No, I realize what I got. I know what I got. And this is what I want to do. You know, again, you're seeing the potential of something. This energy right here is a lot like Scorpio's. But I want to... Because again, it's like you guys are making changes when it comes to your future. Your energy is very scattered though, Gemini. It's very hard for me to read today for some reason. But I did get the Eight of Wands, like I said, and it came out of reverse. So maybe this is a time for you to slow down and kind of, you know, be introspective, you know, and think a lot about your relationship and your goals and things that you really want to accomplish. Again, try not to look at, at the situation as a loss. Try to see it as a blessing, okay? And last but not least, we got the snake card. Of course, like I said, somebody is definitely have been malicious. Um, they could have been definitely like some three-way situation happening or going on between you and somebody else, uh, between you and your spouse. Maybe you find out that your spouse is the one doing this, or maybe this you are the one doing this, okay? Um, they could have been a, maybe the fire sign that I keep quoting is, um, your ex, okay, that keep trying to work their way back into your life for some reason, okay, this can be a Sagittarius, a Leo, um, or an Aries, or this, wait, yeah, or this can be a Libra, an Aquarius, or another Gemini, okay, um, but whatever this is, I feel like you have a lot of decisions to make, especially when it comes to love, but I feel like there's a lot of unanswered, um, questions here, especially when it comes to your career, I feel like, yeah, you may have had some money here and there, yes, you had some blessings, and yes, things were moving along, but I feel like you still have, like, some deep doubt going on, because I feel like, you are having like this ping pong energy in the situation, either between you and this person or with you in the situation, okay? But like I said, the best way to kind of embrace or to manifest anything is to just simply let it go. You know, people always say, you know, if you truly love something, you'll let it go, you know? And honestly, that is seem like that's the best thing for you to do right now. And when you do that, you will see more opportunities and more blessings coming your way. Okay, so Gemini, I don't know who that message was for. It was very deep and a bit unsettled for my, my spirit anyway. It was kind of um, interesting. I never felt you guys' energy this way. Um, so if you guys have any questions or concerns or if you would like something more personal just for you, I'm all for it. Visit my website, g1insights.org. Every Tuesday we are live on Instagram. Okay, follow me, hashtag 555. Okay, you guys can also subscribe here to my channel. So each and every time that we go live or upload a video, you guys will be amongst the first to find out, okay? Thank you guys for your all your love and support. Have a good time. Have a good week. Wherever you are in this beautiful universe, be good to yourself.